What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of RC Voodoo. Today I have another unboxing. This is a pine cone model. It says the Crawler 2 Metal Super Power Tank. 30 degree climbing angle, 112 scale. Um, I don't know anything about this. I just saw this one and thought I would give it a give it a review and let's get it out and check it. Uh, nothing really comes in two different colors like a blue and a gray and like a white and a gray so it says simulation spray drifting vehicle gear wheel planetary double current wave box bilateral independent suspension so let's uh let's see what all that fancy talking is about got our manual here you don't never look into that comes with a baby bottle so i'm sure this is to fill up whatever sprays oh so apparently you're going to have to squeeze and um uh, yeah let's go ahead and get it out of the box here oh it's kind of heavy and uh here's the radio that comes with it go ahead and give you a look at that um kind of a unique design radio this is the spray Got a rubber grip. <clears throat> Stay here. Three double A. I'll get batteries in that in a minute. Let's go ahead and get this out of the bag here. <coughs> sure, top temperature protect. Uh, okay, so we're protected somewhat for something. It's got a push button on and off. And I'm going to have to get a little four-way Phillips screwdriver here. One second. Okay, I got the screw out of that. And it will not be going back in. It's got the double uh, double clasp on the back. It was hard enough to get off the way it is. So, we got here, let's see. 1200 milliamp. And it's got a little spot for the charger to store in there as well. So um tell you right away, this will probably end up getting cut out or at least notched and run a much larger battery than this thing. But um get the battery, see if they got any power in it at all. Just take a look at this. It's got three, uh, three shock absorbers there. Let me look at the underside of the track. Okay, so you just pull up the little, uh, little engine topper there and this is where you fill it up with uh with water i'm uh, saying inefficient to have a water bottle that don't have a removable lid Well, that's full. Maybe just a little too too full, but so let's turn this thing on. 
Get a radio here. And lots flashing. Hold it in. Okay. Okay. So when you turn it on, um, hit the power button there, and then you got to hold this one in for a couple seconds, and then it comes on and binds. A little light bar on top, a couple headlights in the front bumper. And we got some tail lights here. I would imagine when you hit that spray button, this is going to Okay, light up. got a towel hanging on here. Um, so I guess the only thing to do, let me back it up here in case it drips or whatever, is now we're going to push the button, the spray button, and see if it sprays. Uh, it didn't spray. I see what it's doing though. Let's um, see if I can get the camera to capture this. It's shooting out and like an exhaust. And there's, you know. So. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, and it's cold. It's like mist and turning it into a mist. It's not like vaporized, you know, like steam. It's cold. Let's see if it's just a... Yeah, one click, turn it off. One click, turn it on. It's actually quite a lot more coming out than what it's showing on camera here. It's a really cool look. That is that's freaking awesome, actually. Let me see. I don't want to go too crazy, and let me turn this off. Okay, so to turn, you don't need throttle. Pretty responsive. Okay. Yeah, this thing's heavy, and this little poster board uh, shadow box here is not. So, let's, um, I've got to take this thing outside and see, see how well it goes. So let's go, let's get outside. Okay, I don't know how windy it is out here, or how much it's going to pick up, but here we go. It turns faster to the left. I notice that. Here's the left. And here's the right. A little slower. Now this does not, um, this is just whatever charge came in the battery. And let's see, this is uh, an, an abandoned railroad bed up here. So it's big rocks, kind of steep, and this little thing has no issues at all. You get up on the, the weeds there.
<laughs> so the, I've always wondered about these little tanks and um, you know throwing the tracks but I don't think that's going to be an issue with this one it uses big gravels turn up there and get That was um, that was interesting. I did notice that there's um, there's springs. Let me see if I can get them. There's springs right there in the front. I'm not sure what they do or why you need them, but they are there. But yeah, I. Uh, I ran this across the railroad tracks, the the rocks, and then I got up in the the big rocks and just just held the wheel, you know, so it would just turn, and uh, had no issues whatsoever with with these tracks wanting to. Uh, and they got some articulation in these things too. Um, there was no issue at all with uh, with the tracks. So. Whoever, whoever designed these done a really good job. There is a uh, interior in there, full interior, driver's seat, passenger seat, um, steering wheel, dash. Of course, your dash is just black, but uh, let me get it on camera there. So if you got a small enough driver, you could definitely put your little driver in there. Let's see if I can get this. This is what scale is this advertised? Oh, hang on. Okay, the box says it is a, uh, let's see, upside down, but you can see 112 scale. So, um, metal guide wheel bracket, I don't even know what, planetary double current wave box. A double current wave box, you know that's high tech. So, yeah. Okay, here's a, uh, just a picture of the, uh, Planetary double current wave box. See if we can get that to focus. Mm. Anyway. Guys, that's... Um, let me get it turned off here. Oh, that's a spray. There we go. Turn that off, and that shows it's not bound anymore when it starts flashing like that. Just click to turn it off. Um, I think that is about all we can go over. I mean, it is, you're looking at it, this, um, everything works good. The, uh, really happy with those tracks. Both have see how deep those teeth are. Anyway, I'm going to clean it up a little bit, but that's going to do it, guys. If you have any questions that I didn't go over, um, leave a comment, and I will answer them for you. Um, that's going to do it. I don't think there's anything else I can say about it. It's fun. It's capable. Way better than I thought it was going to be. You know, I thought it was some kind of little gimmicky spray and I wanted to check it out but actually quite like a fog and you know when when you're doing the spray you don't hear like a little pump or compressor or anything so I'm not even sure what mechanism they're using but it's a cold mist it's not it's not a uh, steam so there's no heater I don't know well, that's going to do it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, take care.